In the shifting sands of time, a remarkable discovery has recently come to light. An ancient Jewish prayer book, its pages whispering prayers uttered over a millennium ago. This extraordinary find serves as a poignant reminder of humanity's enduring quest to capture and preserve knowledge through the written word. From the banks of the Nile to the plains of Mesopotamia, early civilizations experimented with an astonishing array of materials to record their thoughts, beliefs and stories. As centuries melted into millennia, the art of writing spread far and wide, carried by the winds of trade, conquest and cultural exchange. In this journey through time, we delve into the annals of history to uncover the stories behind some of the world's oldest books, each a testament to the enduring power of the written word and its profound impact on the course of human civilization. Our journey begins in 15th century Germany with a revolutionary invention that would forever alter the course of history, the printing press. Johannes Gutenberg's groundbreaking creation employing movable type ushered in the era of mass printing, making knowledge and information more accessible than ever before. Among the first and most significant works to emerge from this printing revolution was the Gutenberg Bible, a masterpiece of craftsmanship and artistry. Prior to Gutenberg's invention, books were laborious and costly to produce, copied painstakingly by hand, often by scribes cloistered in monasteries. Gutenberg's printing press shattered these limitations, enabling the production of multiple copies of a single text with remarkable speed and accuracy. Our journey now takes us eastward to the heart of Tang Dynasty China, where we encounter a book that predates Gutenberg's invention by centuries. The Diamond Sutra, a revered Buddhist scripture, holds the distinction of being the oldest surviving complete printed book, a testament to the advanced printing techniques employed in 8th century China. Discovered in 1907 by the intrepid explorer and archaeologist Oral Stein, the Diamond Sutra lay hidden for centuries within the caves of the Thousand Buddhas at Dunhuang, a remote oasis along the Silk Road. The Diamond Sutra, a dialogue between the Buddha and his disciple Subhuti, expounds upon the nature of reality, the impermanence of all things and the path to enlightenment. Crafted from delicate paper, a Chinese invention that predates its Western counterpart by centuries, the Diamond Sutra endured the ravages of time thanks to the dry desert climate and the care taken by its custodians. From the arid deserts of Central Asia, we journey westward to the Emerald Isle of Ireland, a land steeped in myth, legend and a rich monastic tradition. Here in the hushed scriptorium of a monastery, likely on the island of Iona, a masterpiece of calligraphy and artistry was painstakingly crafted, the Book of Kells. This illuminated manuscript, a stunning example of insular art, contains the four Gospels of the New Testament, written in Latin, the language of scholarship and liturgy in early medieval Europe. The Book of Kells, believed to have been created around 800 AD, represents the pinnacle of insular illumination, a distinctive style characterized by its vibrant colors, intricate designs, and the use of unsiled script. Chapter 4, St. Cuthbert Gospel, a testament of faith. Our journey takes us to Lindisfarne, a holy island in Northumberland, England. In the 7th century, a monastery here became a beacon of Christianity, the St. Cuthbert Gospel, Europe's oldest intact book, is a testament to faith. This pocket-sized Gospel of John was buried with St. Cuthbert in 687 AD. It moved to Durham Cathedral to escape Viking raids, it survived centuries of turmoil. Crafted from delicate vellum, it endured burial conditions for over a millennium. Its pages still bear the elegant script of its 7th century scribe. The St. Cuthbert Gospel offers a glimpse into early Christianity in England. Its survival is a testament to the devotion of St. Cuthbert's followers. The book's survival is nothing short of miraculous. Chapter 5 Nag Hammadi Library Unveiling Gnostic Secrets Our quest for ancient texts now takes us to the dusty plains of Upper Egypt where in 1945 a discovery of extraordinary significance would revolutionize our understanding of early Christianity. Near the town of Nag Hammadi, a cache of 13 ancient codices bound in leather and written in Coptic, the liturgical language of Egyptian Christians, emerged from the sands of time, offering a glimpse into a long-lost branch of Christian thought, Gnosticism. 
The Nag Hammadi Library, as it came to be known, contains a treasure trove of Gnostic texts, including Gospels, Apocalypses and treatises, many of which were previously unknown to scholars. The discovery of the Nag Hammadi Library sent shockwaves through the world of biblical scholarship, providing invaluable insights into the diversity of early Christian beliefs and practices. Our journey now takes us back in time to the ancient Mediterranean world, to the bustling port city of Pyrgi, located on the Etruscan coast of Italy. Here in 1964, archaeologists unearthed a remarkable find, three gold plates inscribed with a dedication to the Etruscan goddess Astarte, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the language and religious beliefs of this enigmatic civilization. The Pyrgi gold tablets, dating back to the 6th century BC, are inscribed in two languages, Etruscan and Phoenician. The Etruscan text, written in a script borrowed from the Greeks, provides valuable insights into the Etruscan language, which, despite decades of scholarly effort, remains largely undeciphered. The discovery of the tablets provided crucial evidence for understanding the cultural exchange and religious syncretism that characterized the ancient Mediterranean world. Our pursuit of ancient knowledge takes us to the rainforests of Mesoamerica, home to the Maya civilization, known for their writing system, advanced mathematics and calendar systems. Amidst the ruins of a lost city, we find the Madrid Codex, a surviving book from the pre-Columbian Maya world, showcasing the legacy of this civilization. The Madrid Codex is a hieroglyphic manuscript filled with glyphs and illustrations of Maya life, rituals and beliefs. It depicts deities, priests and rulers in rituals and ceremonies. The Madrid Codex, along with other codices, offers insights into Maya civilization, a culture that flourished before its decline. These documents, preserved over time, provide a window into a lost world showcasing human ingenuity and creativity. Our journey through time and across continents now brings us full circle. Back to the discovery that sparked our exploration, the ancient Jewish prayer book, a Siddur, unearthed from the sands of time. This remarkable find, dating back to around 840 AD, offers a poignant glimpse into the religious practices and beliefs of a Jewish community living over a millennium ago. The Siddur, a book containing prayers and blessings for daily use and special occasions, is a cornerstone of Jewish religious life. The discovery of this ancient Siddur sends ripples of excitement through the world of Jewish scholarship, offering valuable insights into the evolution of Jewish liturgy and the continuity of Jewish tradition across centuries. This remarkable find reminds us that the written word can transcend time, connecting us to the hopes, dreams and beliefs of those who came before us. As we conclude our journey through the annals of history, we are left with a profound sense of awe and wonder at the enduring power of the written word. From the ancient clay tablets of Mesopotamia to the illuminated manuscripts of medieval Europe, each book, each inscription represents a triumph of human ingenuity. These ancient texts, whispering to us across the millennia, offer a glimpse into the minds and hearts of those who came before us. They remind us that despite the vast gulfs of time and culture that separate us, we are all connected by our shared humanity. These ancient books stand as enduring monuments to the power of the written word. They inspire, challenge and connect us to the rich tapestry of human history.